Check. Hello, Slaughter County. You guys here for open mic comedy tonight? Yeah, great. It's good. You guys are here on purpose for this. This is awesome. It's a good change of pace for Port Orchard. I, uh, my name is Joseph Rogers. I'm your open mic comedy host tonight. I am from Bremerton. Is there anybody here from Bremerton that made it out? This table right here? Yeah. Hey, a couple things about Bremerton. Did you guys notice this? Uh, the QFC out in Kitsap Way? The what went out of business a few years ago? It still says, thank you, Bremerton? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's, I, I was thinking about going up there myself and changing it to what it really should be. Fuck you, Bremerton. <laughs> right? It makes way more sense. Yeah. And on the other side, I'll write, fuck you, Winco. Yeah. Because we all know that's the reason why QFC went out of business. You can self-check out, and it doesn't cost twice as much to make tacos for dinner. That's <laughs> nice. Uh, a couple other things about Bremerton most recently in the news. Did you guys hear about this? The guy that died rubbing one out in turf news on Calo? Oh yeah, you guys heard about that? Man, what better way to go out, right? Mid orgasm, your freaking aneurysm explodes in your brain and you're done, right? What is the turf news? Yeah, turf news? I know, right? I mean, the thing is, they got this little video back there. I bet you this is, this is Bremerton for you, right? They probably got his last nut all memorial and marked and everything. <laughs> and I don't know why, but for some reason, I just assume this guy's name's Gary, so it's like. Gary's last, you know, whatever. <laughs> Watch out for it. But that's the thing, right? It's got me thinking about it, you know? We just, it's true, we don't know when it's our time. We just don't know when, right? So now I'm more attentive about my daily activities. For example, when I go to take a shit, now I make sure I have proper breathing technique, you know, nice and centered on the toilet. Maybe do some Lama's exercises while I'm releasing this number two, you know what I'm saying? Before I get in the shower, do some warrior poses, you know? Get my balance real good so I don't slip in the shower. And also, when I'm rubbing one out like Gary or Todd or whatever the fuck his name was, now I make sure before I finish to put all my shit away. Because <laughs> what happens if you die at mid, you know, and your wife comes home and sees all your mess and... Yeah. I care about my legacy, people. You should, too. Make sure when you rub one out, you don't stroke out. No pun intended. <laughs> A whole new meaning to Bremerton Beat Blast now. <laughs> Get Josh Farley on that Bremerton Beat Blast right there all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to send him a message on Twitter. It's going to be great. I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but apparently trailer parks in Graham, Washington, you're not allowed to have a pool. Yeah, you can't have like a pool. Yeah, it's a trailer park. Yeah, she knows for some reason, I don't know why. Well, you can have a trampoline, which is what confuses me. You can have a trampoline in a trailer park, right? You see those everywhere. And I'm like, man, trampolines are more dangerous than pools. So I went and investigated and I tried to find out why and someone, the landlord at one of the trailer parks said, well the reason why is because little Timmy comes over and breaks his arm on the trampoline, his mom's probably got Obamacare, just send him home, he'll be fine, you know? And I was like, well, what about the pool? They're like, yeah, Obamacare doesn't care, uh, cover drowned kids. I was like, oh, yeah. I guess Obamacare considers it a pre-existing condition that your, your kids drown, yeah. <laughs> But think about it. It, it, it makes sense though. If you have a pool in a trailer park, it's gonna attract all the kids, unwanted attention, you're gonna have a drowned child. And uh, trampoline, they'll get fucked up, they'll be okay. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> um, ah, yeah, let's see, what else do we got here? You guys are a great table, you, you guys are full of life, I love it. So let me, I'm gonna try to guess what the scenario is here, right? Okay, this is, this is way too intense to be any Tinder action going on here. Um, oh, well, you know, there's that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but incest porn is trending. So, there's that. There's that. Hey, you guys started it, okay? I was getting there. I was going to guess this is a family outing. Shoot. All right. Well, congratulations on having such great daughters and ladies in your life. Oh, they're fine. They're fine. They're, they're just done with their meal, that's all. 
Yeah, the problem's not me at all. Yeah. So check this out, right? Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I have a couple kids. I'm not gonna say I'm the greatest dad or husband in the world, but I try really hard. And one thing I noticed about raising kids is that it's important to be honest, right? Honesty is the best policy. You lie to your kid, you can fuck them up, right? So this is what I, I got tested recently, real big test. My son comes up to me and he says, Dad, I go, yeah, he's 16. He goes, I heard you and mom having sex last night. And I was like, oh shit. Sorry, son. He goes, no, it's okay. I understand that's why I'm here. I'm like, yeah, you're smart. I like that. And he goes, but there was one sound that I heard over and over again, and I don't know what it was. I was like, oh, shit. Here we go. This could be any sound. <laughs> but he, goes, he looks at me, and he goes, Dad, what was that clapping sound? And I was like, ooh, good one. And in my head, I'm like, what do I say, right? But I'm like, okay, it's best to be honest. I'm going to be honest. So I look him right in the eye, and I say, son, remember this. Sometimes when the sex is that good, you just got to give a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. And I feel so bad for lying to him because I know later in life it's going to really let him down. He's going to meet a nice person. He's going to have sex with him. It's going to be really good. He's going to sit back when it's done. And he's going to be like, just clapping. And they're going to be like, why are you clapping at me right now? Like, this is weird. Who raised you? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, so have you guys noticed that uh, there's a shit ton of uh, people dying from uh, falling off a cliff face from taking selfies there's already been 12 deaths this year in the Pacific Northwest people climbing, hiking to exotic locations, taking a selfie and falling to their death yeah good, that's my thought exactly like if the selfie is that important, good one less person, dumb person in the world to breed right? My thing is that I really think about that and I think to myself, I wish I could know what they were thinking on the way down, right? How funny that would be like, you know some of them were probably thinking about their family and how they let their parents down, you know, stuff like that. But then you know the other ones are probably thinking, shit, I gotta upload this before I hit, oh fuck. <laughs> Take another one on the way down, guys, I'm gonna die, you know. Like, you know that's probably what they're doing, you know. And I think there's so many people dying doing that that we should start having a contest to see who fell the farthest. <laughs> oh, good old Sarah, man. She tumbled 900 feet to her death, man. She's got the record right now for Mount Baker. Shit. <laughs> and, like, is it too much to, like, act, to, like, want to go on a picnic with your family and set up next to a cliff face without having to worry about someone rolling down <laughs> and being mangled in front of your kids? I mean, come on, people. Selfies are selfishly driven people. Did I say that right? I don't know. I don't know. It's a tongue twister. Cliff selfie deaths. Man, that's so sad. Especially, especially when they're in such good health, you know? Like, they just hiked three miles, no problem. They could live to be 80 and have a family, and they just robbed, they just murdered their family, basically, that they've never had, so... You know? 